darlings, how you doing? I am here in the Dominican Republic, actually, in the orphanage, uh, where these young ladies are right now writing their essay as we speak on what a quince means to them and what a difference it would make in their lives, followed by why they feel like they deserve it. I'm going to interview them in a second, one by one, and based on their essay and their interviews, they're going to be selected. Out of 16 girls, there's going to be 10 selected, so they do have a little bit of pressure, but a little bit of pressure is always good, so you can push yourself to that next limit, right? And that's what we're trying to teach these ladies. And right now I'm gonna walk and show you as they finish up this essay of theirs. All righty? Nadia hablando, por favor. Nadia habla. Cuando termine, se quedan calladitas, okay? As you see, the ladies are writing their essays, and um, we're now going to interview them one by one. So far, so good. The girls are really excited for Quinces con Causa. And we have the fabulous Luz Maria here. <laughs> and so is the next lady. And so they're finishing up their essay, and we're going to take it from there and see what happens. I will keep you guys posted, but so far, a very, very, very productive Wednesday, I think. Yeah, right? Third day. Third day. So we visited the first lady here in the Dominican Republic to invite her to Quinces con Causa. And now we're here at the orphanage having the young ladies write their essay. And uh, we're going to be judging them um, very, very, very soon so that we can select the 10 best ladies that deserve Quinces. This is Silvana with Quinces con Causa. We'll talk to you later, darlings. And let me tell you something. It is hot out here. But don't matter because we're here doing other better things. And we can take the heat. Let me not talk about the Miami Heat now, because that's irrelevant. Miami Heat. <laughs>